Hey guys, this is Tashina from Logical Harmony, and today I'm going to be sharing swatches and a try-on of some of the new liquid lipstick shades from Ofra. So if you're not familiar with Ofra, they are a cruelty-free brand, and a lot of their products are vegan. I know I've been told that they use beeswax in some in the past, so just keep an eye out for that, and everything else, from my understanding, is vegan. Um, today I am going to be trying on only five different shades. These are a little bit pricier than like say the ColourPop ones. These are about $20 each. Um, but if you do look, you can find some discount codes. I know that right now Kathleen Lights has a really good one going on. And she just released a, a limited edition shade with them that I've also ordered, but I don't have that yet. So I'm just gonna try on these five shades today. So before using these or any liquid lipstick, I actually do like to prep my lips with the RL Linden La Bomba Rosa, which is a really soothing rose lip balm. It's actually, it's a balm you could use anywhere, but I really like it on my lips. I also use it on my hands. I find that it keeps my lips moisturized under the liquid lipstick without interfering with the wear of the liquid lipsticks. This first shade is Rio and it is a lighter pinky nude. The next shade I'm going to try is called Pasadena, and this is another kind of more brownish nude. It's a little cooler of a tone, I think, but let's see what it looks like on. This next shade is Mocha, and this is a darker kind of a toffee brown. It does have a little bit of plum in it. This next shade I'm going to try is called Daytona Beach, and this is a bright orangey coral. And you guys know I'm just a sucker for corals, so of course I had to get this one. The last shade I'm going to try on is called Santa Monica, and this is a really bright fuchsia pink. So those are five different shades from the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick Collection. The first one I tried on was Rio, then Pasadena, Mocha, Daytona Beach, and Santa Monica. And I tried to get a few different colors. I got the nudes because I knew those were what I tend to wear often. And I wanted to try some of the bright colors because sometimes in liquid lipsticks, the bright shades can apply and wear very differently than the nudes. The formula of these Ofra liquid lipsticks is very moussey. Um, it's very, very easy to apply. It takes a while to dry. So that definitely gives you time to do any touch-ups you might need to do and to just really make sure the color goes on smoothly. I did find that you could apply, you know, two, sometimes even three coats easily without it like smudging or getting patchy. So I'm really impressed with the formula of them and they do have 
tons more colors online, so definitely go check that out. Overall, I felt like the colors were slightly different on than how they appeared in the tube, so I may have made different purchases if I had been able to see them on other people before I bought them. I watched Kathleen Light's video where she swatched them all on herself, and I actually really liked a ton of them. I just wish that on their website they had photos of them on people because I think that would make it easier to figure out what's going to look good on you. That being said, I'm really impressed with the formula. I do really like the colors that I got overall, so I will definitely be ordering more in the future. If you guys have tried some of the Ofra liquid lipsticks, leave a comment below and let me know what your thoughts are on them. And if you had a favorite from the five that I tried on today, let me know in the comments as well. For more updates on cruelty-free vegan beauty and lifestyle, make sure you subscribe to logicalharmony.net and you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at logicalharmony. Have a good day.